And if you were considering travel to Russia for any reason, do not do it. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller reacting to the arrest in Russia of 33-year-old Ksenia Karolina, an amateur ballerina with dual U.S. and Russian citizenship who lived in Los Angeles. Russian authorities say that she was visiting Russia when she was arrested earlier this month. They say she was providing financial assistance to a foreign state. Her employer says all of this was tied to a $51 donation to a Ukrainian charity. Carolina joins a growing list of Americans detained by the Kremlin. Former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan was arrested in 2018 on espionage charges. Three years later, in 2021, schoolteacher Mark Fogel was arrested for possession of medical marijuana. And just last March, Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich was detained after being accused of espionage, which he vehemently denies. On Tuesday, a Russian court ruled that he must remain in custody until his trial. President Joe Biden now saying that the U.S. will announce a new set of sanctions against Russia on Friday in response to two years of war against Ukraine and for the death of Russian political dissident Alexei Navalny, who died last week while in custody at an Arctic penal colony. If you don't stand up to dictators, they don't stop. Sean Savitt, the deputy spokesman for the National Security Council, spoke to us on Tuesday about these sanctions. The goal is to continue to increase the costs on Russia for uh, this brutal and vicious war that they are carrying out on Ukraine. The sanctions come as U.S. funding for Ukraine's war effort has dried up. The speaker needs to call a vote. On Tuesday, Biden posted this video on social media urging House Republicans to pass a funding package that would send some $60 billion to Ukraine. The bill has already passed in the Senate. We stand strong with our allies. We have to remember who we are. We're the United States of America. We keep our commitments. We never walk away from our friends. And we sure as hell don't bow down to Vladimir Putin. And on the front lines in Ukraine, Russia is on the march, taking the eastern city of Avdivka over the weekend. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky is now pleading with Congress to approve more aid so his country can put up a better fight against advancing Russian troops. In Washington, I'm Evan Kozlov, Spectrum News.